Hey everybody, what are you guys doing today? Today, well, I'm going to be teaching you about using multiple artboards in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Now, an artboard is a region of a document that contains printable artwork. So they're useful for uh, working with uh, multiple artwork elements. And the artboards are also used as like crop areas for printing. So if you have like uh, an object, let's do a, like, a, like a rectangle here, and half of it's cut off, only the part that is within the artboard is actually going to print. So you can do some uh, some artistic things with that. And change this color here. So next time I do something, it looks a little cooler and more uh, understandable. See, there we go. Anyways, um, let's get back to the artboards. So you can create from one artboard to 100, and they can all be different sizes, and you can put them anywhere on the screen. And there's different ways to do this. You can use the new dialog box, and I'll go over these. Um, the artboard tools in the tool panel, and the artboard panel itself. So um, you can specify custom names for your artboard, you can rearrange the layout, and you can reorder artboards and duplicate them. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with them. So artboards are an important part to uh, Adobe Illustrator CS6. So let's go ahead and create an artboard by using the tool on the tools panel. And it's right um, here. This is the artboard one, artboard tool. Shift and O is the is the uh, is the uh, hotkey. I just lost the what it was called. Now you can go ahead and drag in the workspace, and you have just created a new artboard. If I click on this little X right there, it's going to delete the one that I just made. Now, if you want to create an artboard within an artboard, you're going to hold down Shift and then drag and it's going to create another it's going to create an artboard for you. So now you got a second artboard within your artboard. Now, if you have an artboard that you like and you want to keep them the same, um you want to be able to duplicate your existing artboard. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the artboard that you have select or that you want to duplicate. It's going to say it up here, artboard 1. You're going to click on this icon right here saying new artboard. And then you're going to just place it. Let me move this over a little. We're going to place it. And now we have a new artboard that is the same. You're able to rename the artboard up here, which is uh, handy. <clears throat> so we know now that these are the same. Now, you can also um, create multiple duplicates. So you can alt-click. So if I... Go to new, and then I have my artboards over here. Let's move them over. If I hold down Alt and click, I'm able to make new ones. So that's very handy. So now I've got multiple artboards here, and these are like multiple pages. If I move, I could just uh, click off here. Let me delete this one. So for your last artboard, you're going to want to let go of the Alt button and go to and click and it'll, it won't let you make any more. So you can scroll through your artboards down here, which is nice. And now you can see some of my artboards aren't, aren't in order. So being able to scroll through and go to the artboard uh, that you really want is helpful. Now, there is an artboards panel, and we can open this up using window and then artboards. And we can quickly go through our artboards here. You can create a new artboard as well. And this is, this is the icon for artboards, the uh, couple squares that are going here. And usually it's right below the layers panel if you're on your defaults. If you want to use an artboard that has a preset um, a preset size, then go up here to the preset section, and then we've got a whole bunch of different things. So I want to use iPad this time, and now it created an artboard for me 
here, which I can move over, that is the size of the iPad. As you can see, it's bigger than the letter one. So that's pretty neat. Um, I showed you how to get rid of artboards by clicking the little X here. Now, if you want to get out of the artboard tool, you can just press escape on your keyboard. Or you can just go to and click a different tool. So I have this selected. If I click on my selection tool, I'm out of there. So either way is up to you. We can go into our artboards panel here and delete as well. We can delete our artboards. And now if I look here, I've only got one left. And um, there we go. If you go to view, you can go to fit artboard and window, and that helps out to center your artboards. Now if I have um, artboards, a ton of them, and I want to fit them all in a window, let's do that real quick. I'm just going to start placing artboards around. All right, there's a few artboards there. If I go to view, fit all in window, all my artboards are going to be fit in the window. So that is very handy. So that's all I wanted to show you about artboards this time. In the next tutorial, um, we're gonna learn how to uh, mess with the artboard options up here, and we're gonna be able to change them and figure out a little bit more about artboard options and use like a, a little dialog box and everything like that. So thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where you can learn a lot more about using artboards. See you later.